Right, so this is going to be uh, Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and as well uh, Capricorn Rising, weekly general tarot reading October 12th to uh, October 18th, uh, 2020. <clears throat> and in case uh, any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me or you just want to take uh, one of my tarot classes in case you like the way I read tarot cards and you want to learn to read the same way, uh, the information regarding both of these uh, services you can find into the description down below. So with that being said, without further ado, let's uh, see what's, uh, what you guys have for the upcoming week. And uh, let me lay down the cards first and then... Alright, so uh, the upper half of the spread is going to reveal your uh, love and relationship. Wow, look at that. I mean, this is how we start uh, with the Ace of Cups. Then we do have the Empress followed by the Queen of Wands. And uh, the last one uh, for love and relationship is going to be the Eight of Wands. And the second, the bottom half of the spread is going to reveal your career. And again, starting awesome with the Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> Then we do have the Princess of Swords, which is the Page of Swords, by the way. Uh, after that is Judgment. And the final one uh, is going to be the Art. Uh, that is the Thoth card for Temperance. Right, so uh, let's focus on the uh, love and the relationship first, as we do have the cards here. So obviously, Ace of Cups, uh, that card there in this position does describe the general topic of the week and uh, needless to, to point what the Ace of Cups is all about. Well, the Ace of Cups is all about love If in case this is the first time you have encountered uh, Tarot. So, uh, what, what, what is then the difference if you had the Two of Cups? I mean, is this not shows love as well well it does but under a different circumstances so ace of cups it's the love uh, for a life itself or in another words the enterprises that you are to experience in your week in terms of romance uh, in terms of uh, intimacy etc etc you're gonna love them uh, in fact the ace of cups kind of points that throughout the week uh, you are to have some kind of a, a quite surprising if you will enterprise uh, in terms of love and romance that is going to make your concerns and your worries in that uh, particular field totally irrelevant so you can take it as this uh, is uh, the new interaction you may have that will embark into a path of relationship and the concern of am i ever going to see uh, am i ever going to find love i'm sorry is going to become totally irrelevant that could be the peacemaker as well in between you and a person you love a lot but you can't be together right now because you are on edge with one another okay or uh, simply that could be the uh the card pointing that you finally are going to find uh love in your life or you are to boost your love etc etc regardless what it is the ace of cups kind of points that your heart is going to be overflowing with joy and things are going to look very different when looked through that overflowing joy in fact your daily reality is to be uh, transcended into something much better so uh, with that being said, uh, looking at the other cards from the love perspective here, those uh, those three cards, they favor a lot or they speak the most to those that are single, okay? Especially with having this Queen of Wands here into the third position, it kind of points to a very attractive individual that is going to come up into your life and that attractive individual it's pretty much on your side. What I mean is that is because it does fall into that position. It means that you don't have to chase that individual. In fact, they are the one who are going to show a first interest to you. And the fact that we do have the Empress here uh, into the second position, it kind of points that the whole interaction that will go under the energy of the Ace of Cups or that will go under the energy of the overflowing emotions that you are to experience is going to seem quite immature and um, 
depending on what kind of a person you are, okay, you may try to kind of put it in frames. What I mean is that to control it in one or another way, which is going to muffle the beauty of it to a large extent. So I would advise you here looking at those cards. Don't try to act like, how could I say that things are beneath you, okay? For example, saying uh, that you do like somebody or uh, accepting a gift or making a gift, you know? Don't, don't act like this is beneath you and this is immature, this is what uh, teenagers are doing and you are way past over it, okay? Right now, what you need here according to those cards is a, um, uh, a moment of, uh, of passion, a moment of excitement, and those we may classify them a uh, immature actions and behaviors are exactly the fuel that will ignite your passion and will ignite your enthusiasm. And the week in terms of love here with the eight of wands pretty much ends in a way of that you get to decide how you want to proceed, you know, with your endeavor, with your current relationship or with the interaction itself. Eight, uh, eight of wands gives the individual or the one that the reading is performed into the luxury to decide how big they want to go for uh, or how much they want to invest just to be... Um, forewarned here or reminded, if you will, it is that if you mindlessly invest things in it, you may lose them, okay? So that is not a guaranteed success. In order to make it a guaranteed success, you need to face those opportunities with clear-headed mind because some of the opportunities that you are to scale in terms of love and relationships are not meant for you, okay? So you have to be objective about how far you can stretch with your capabilities, with either your current partner or with the one that it is just coming about. So um, in terms of a career, things are looking a little bit more stationary in a sense of that you are gonna have a lot of things to under, well, you have already undertaken those things and now you need to pretty much, you know, keep up with the stuff that uh, you are working on. And the good thing about these cards that we are seeing are actually a couple of good things. One is that whatever investments you have done, they are more than well placed. And uh, those investments, believe it or not, and other investments, once again, I do not mean only money. Those could be investments of time. It could be investments of effort, performance, so on and so forth. So those investments are to bring you somewhat independence, if you will, um, they're going to serve as a, um, uh, as a checkpoint, as an anchor. I don't know how to say it in English, but at the very least, those investments are to bring you stability and a um, sense of security, if I may say it that way, moving forward into the future. However, throughout the week itself, there are to be um, not responsibilities, but arrangements that need to be... Um, settled i'm trying to find the correct words here uh, arrangements that needs to be settled that uh, there there is a, a particular sequence that they need to be settled on and you very well will be quite um discerned about the sequence that you have to settle them and this is where that individual comes about. That could be someone that you work with or could be someone that you are trying to work with. You know, that that, that one here does have some kind of a influence um, over your career and they will try to push you to break that sequence. Now, that is not going to be, however, with a malicious intent. It is just, you know, within their mind for they are a quite of an original thinker. Um, it will be much more productive and efficient if you do not go with the sequence you do have in mind, but instead you do uh, reshuffle that sequence in a different order, if I may say it that way. And you doing so, you are going to find yourself in more trouble than you need to. For up until the end of the week, whatever settlements you have to, or rather like um, arrangements you have to settle, whatever responsibilities you have to take care of, all of them needs to be maintained and all of them all, all of them needs to be dealt with as well. And the only way you can do so, it is if you do follow your planned sequence. And at the end of the week, 
uh, things are not going to become more quiet, uh, but you will kind of like be in a state of that you have be that you have got along with it, okay? That you have already got the hang of it, if I may say it that way. And even if there throughout those say uh, uh, responsibilities and those um, arrangements, there are chores. Uh, or activities that appear to be a chores to you and you are completely, you know, uh, unenthusiastic and uh, annoyed of performing them with the temperance at the end, you are to find a way how to make them quite uh, more interesting to you to uh, perform and therefore the chores will not bother you that much at the end. But I could safely say here by looking at those uh, cards, it is that in term of a career, uh, you are to find the best way to capitalize on your dividends and on your resource resources by the end of the week. So that being said, Capricorn, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.